Tight budgets will certainly be a big concern for the next person chosen to head up the Hartford Public Schools. The new superintendent will likely be named this evening following a selection process marked by controversy. News 8 Sarah Welch is live in Hartford with the latest on this. Sarah? And we're here at uh, Hartford High School. The Board of Ed meeting is underway. The board just went into executive session to discuss personnel matters. And yes, they are tonight expected to appoint Assistant Superintendent Christina Kishimoto to replace Stephen Adamowski, who is retiring later this summer. Let's take the video now. These are pictures of uh, Christina Kishimoto at the meeting this evening. There's been some controversy surrounding her appointment. She was supposed to be appointed last week, but the meeting was abruptly canceled after word from Hartford's mayor, who wanted to conduct a national search for the next superintendent. He has no official authority over the process. The Board of Ed, though, says a committee spent two hours deliberating his request. They say, though, tonight they still stand firmly on the current search process and its choice of Kishimoto. But what's interesting, tonight we did speak to taxpayers who are torn on this issue. One woman told us that she thought that there should be a national search. Another person said that the city simply can't afford a national search. Others told us that there were other local talent that should have been considered agree with the mayor they should have been a national search I know that uh, right now we have a budget deficit we I understand that we have um, monies that are, are needed um, but when it comes to your children and their education money should not be any of the top priorities the mayor has said that Kishimoto is very qualified for the position. He released a statement saying yesterday that he will also continue to work proactively with the board, of, proactively, pardon me, with the Board of Ed for the good of all Hartford's families and children. We'll have an update on this story coming up at 10 and 11, live in Hartford, Sarah Welch, News 8.